Well, you're gonna see on film a prophetic image and a prophetic sequence of images caught on film, which are foreshadows, prophetic foreshadows of what was gonna happen before anything happened, where we are now, but the whole thing began. This is before it all began, it was all there. Is what we're seeing happening in the United States over the last 25 years, from 9-11 to COVID-19, a part of some great divine mystery that God is unfolding before our very eyes? And if we understand this mystery, will it help us to understand prophetically what's coming next? If you've been a part of Encounter Today, you know that I don't really believe that we're in the last days. I believe we're in the last of the last days. And men and women are hungry for the truth of what the Bible says concerning these times. And it's been the, one of the greatest thrills of my life to be able to partner with some of God's great end time messengers like Jonathan Kahn. You know him as a New York Times best-selling author of The Harbinger and The Harbinger 2. But listen, it's time to retake the arts, reclaim the airways, and he's coming to theaters all across the nation, and you need to be a part of it. On May the 12th, Harbingers of Things to Come is about to be released where he is unpacking new revelation never before released and unique for the Encounter Today audience, our dear friend has given us a sneak peek that no one else has been able to get. And I wanted to provide it for you and then I'm gonna come back and share some really important information for you. So I don't wanna wait any longer. Here's brother Jonathan Kahn, our dear friend with a sneak peek of Harbingers of Things to Come. Shalom. This is, if you don't know who I am, this is Jonathan Kahn, and I am in the basement of my house, uh, probably at like 1 o'clock, 1.30 at night. It's the first chance I really had to do this. And first of all, I want to say hi to my friend Alan, um, and, uh, and to all of you who are listeners, who, who view and watch this. Um, I look forward in the future to have a special time uh, with Alan as we do the, do the program and talk about prophetic things. Um, I couldn't do it yet because... Um, there is so much happening that I, there's a lot I can't do right now. One is I have to focus on finishing the, the new book. And the new book is, is the most explosive a book I've ever done. And I've done books which go out there, but this one is going to be the most explosive. There may be a, there may be a lot that comes against it, and they may try to ban it. That's why I, I'm asking you to pray for this. Um, pray for me to finish it and pray for this going forth. Um, I... I we, I can't give you the title yet. It's under wraps. Um, actually, it will be revealed on the night of the movie, um, which is another th the other thing I have to tell you about. Um, and that is that, um, well, let me put it this way here. Um, and, I, and the thing is, when I, when I do the program, uh, it'll be after the fact. So I needed to do this. And I said, uh, I wrote, I said, would this be good? And, and Alan said, yeah, do it. So um, it's kind of giving you a heads up on something. So one, we are at critical at a critical moment. We're in critical times. Um, when I did the Harbinger years ago, um, I knew it was the beginning of the mystery, a mystery of national judgment. It wasn't the end. And it was gonna keep going. And it has kept going. Everything is actually going along where what this warns about. And it, it's the warning of a, of a nation that has known God, has fallen away from God. And now the pattern, the template of national judgment is what it shows. Um, with the beginning of these harbingers that appear in the land. Well, that happened, but it's not stopped. It has not stopped at all. In fact, the very things the harbinger warns about, that is a nation hardening itself against God, is exactly what has happened and where we are right now. We are following the pattern of the harbinger, and the harbingers have not stopped. They've continued after the book, the harbinger, um, to now. And, you know, here's what happened. Uh, in 2019, I was praying at the end of it, like, what's the next book, Lord? I had three books in my mind, and um, I got back none of them. It's time to do what you have held back from doing, which is, is the sequel to The Harbinger, because what's going to happen is great shakings are going to come upon the world and upon America in the next year, which and it was going to begin in the next year, which was 2020, had a very strong knowing of this and that I had to, that these shakings for America were going to be the resuming of the mystery of the harbinger. I had to write the book to 
let God's people know what is happening, where it's going, what's going to happen, how to be ready. And so I started writing in, at, on January, in January 2020, the book that would become The Harbinger 2, which is the last book I wrote. Um, and within like two and a half months from starting, the shakings came. The shakings began. COVID, the plague came on America. The, sh- the lockdowns, the shutdowns, the, the, the division of America, the cities on fire. And, the, you know, we are still in this now. And, and yet I wrote this because, because of that coming, because of having that sense. Um, and so God's people, we need to know. And we're at a critical time. It's as critical as it has ever been now because it's more dangerous because the, the pattern of the, of the template of the Harbinger and the Harbinger too is that there is a set time given to a nation to come back to God. And if not, it enters into greater shakings and judgment. And so if there was ever a time right now, we are racing away from God. Uh, we are racing away in calling evil good and in calling good evil. We are racing away in uh, the attempts to cancel out the word of God, the, the truth, the, the people of God, the Bible, religious freedom. We are watching our children being indoctrinated as never before. We are watching um, uh, things on television, on the internet, we couldn't have, in ch- children's cartoons, we could have never fathomed before. Um, and it, it just, it, it, it's mind boggling how crazy it is, even, even to deny that male and female exist. I mean, would you ever think you'd be in a time? Well, the Bible says that the end days will be like this and we can see persecution coming. Um, we didn't see how that would happen, but it's, we can see it now. We're there. And so this is so crucial. We're in prophetic times. And that's why, you know, so I was led, I knew I had to write The Harbinger too. And I'm writing this book now, which is the most close. So pray. But the other thing is we knew we had to do something else. And that is to do something in a way that it was going to get out to more people. I mean, immediately and people who don't read books. And that is to make a movie, put these things in a motion picture, a prophetic explosion of a motion picture. And amazing. God opened the door for this to go into movie theaters across America. And so it's going to be all across America. The movie, the motion picture is called, if you don't know already, The Harbingers of Things to Come. And it's going to be all across America, in theaters all around the country. It's going to be, the date is, mark it, May 12th. And it's going to be a prophetic explosion on film, uh, in movie theaters. We normally have Hollywood things. They're going to have this. Um, and it is going to be... Um, uh, it's going to be something very powerful, and it's going to be you're going to be taken on a journey uh, around America as to uncover the clues, the harbingers, the 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 keys uh, that are there. I um, mean, I'm going to be doing it, you know, with you. I'm going to be on a, sometimes I'm going to be on boats or ships, um, going to to islands of mysteries here, um, and it's going to be revealing things. Not it's going to start with the harbinger. It's going to reveal things that I did not reveal in the harbinger. Things that have happened since, um, and what's happening now, and where is it going, and what do you need? What do we need to know about where it's going, and what we need to do, and is there hope? And if so, what is it? And so that's all going to be there, and. There are going to be things, you're not just going to read about things, you're going to actually see the harbingers, you're going to see the signs. We found archival footage of things which, you know, are amazing, stunning to see. And there's something that I have not revealed for years, I've kept this. Um, And it's going to be for the first time on a screen uh, in the movie. And that is, you know, God gives foreshadows of things to happen. God gives prophetic things he gave to the prophets, visions and symbols. Well, you're going to see on film a, a, a prophetic image and a prophetic sequence of images um, caught on film, um, which are foreshadows, prophetic foreshadows of what was going to happen before anything happened, where we are now. But the whole thing began. This is before it all began. It was all there. And it's stunning. Yeah, um, it was caught on 
a camera, by a camera. It was caught also by a video, um, and it was surrounded. Actually, I'll just tell you, it took place at the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty. It's going to be in there. And people who have seen the advance, you know, screening have said it was it was bone chilling. It was uh, goosebumps. It was, you know, well, God is and God is real. And so this is going to be a prophetic explosion. Now, this is for uh, the harbingers of things to come is for first believers like you who are hungry for the word, hungry for God to know all to what you need to know. Number two, it's for believers who who are maybe need to be woken up in your life. Maybe, you know, they may know, they may believe in God, but uh, and but they need to be woken up. They need to be, you know, to know there. So bring them out. And number three, it is for unbelievers because uh, bring them out because you have unbelievers in your life because it's going to be powerful. Unlike other things, it's not something they, they can just dismiss and say, well, yeah, yeah, I heard, you know, that it's religious. I heard that. This is going to be things that are like, whoa, and, and it's going to be a wake-up call for them. So bring them out on the night. So here's what you need to just know here. Here are the key things. May 12th, the harbingers of things to come, May 12th. Um, and here's the other thing. To find out where it's playing near you, here's the key. Uh, just write down and remember, harbingers of things to come. It's the title without the the, okay? So harbingersofthingstocome.com. And that'll take you right to the site. You put in the zip code. It'll tell you if it's near you or where it is. So it's harbingersofthingstocome.com. And, um, and if it's not in your area, there, it, it's possible that you can get it in your area. Um, if you can get it, I think if there can be, if, I don't know if it goes like if there's 25 people, they will, get, they will hopefully get it into your area. Um, so, um, and that, so it's going to be that night. So don't miss it. It's one night event. Do not miss it. Uh, but then after that, for 30 days, the, the companies that are involved in this are going to do a special thing. They're going to allow churches to have their own showings. There'll be a special way that you do it. I don't know. I don't even know how you do it, but uh, there'll be a way to do that, too. So if, you have pa if you're a pastor or you're, you want to tell your pastor, um, you can also do that and also get other people out, um, you know, like friends of people in your church and all that. So for salvation. Um, and to know, all right? So that's what it is, but also pray that God uses it powerfully, okay? Um, and I appreciate that. And at the end of the movie, that's when they will have a special thing that'll reveal the book I just told you about, okay? So I will look forward to, uh, to being with Alan in the future and we'll be able to talk about all these things. Um, and in the meantime, though, uh, he was gracious to say, hey, you know, you know, do it. And so that you guys could know before beforehand, because when I when I when I'm there on the program, it'll be after that. So pray we are and, and know also, you know, when you look at the times, and you look at the darkness, you know, it can be overwhelming. But you know what? It is it is exciting because God chose you to be here to be a light. And if the dark is getting darker, it's time that we be brighter, you know, and, and, and when when darkness and sin is greater, that's the time that God raises up greater people and or that we become greater. And that's exactly what God wants. It's exciting to be living in such a time as this. Yeah, the price may be bigger, but you know what? The, the power is going to be greater. You know, it's the candle that's in the daytime you don't see, but the candle at night lights up the world. You be that candle. And that's why all these things I've talked to you about, that's what it's about. It's, the, you know, the movie, the book, all these things are to get, are to shine the light and in a, in a powerful way. So you be that light. But um, I'll see you one way or the other. We'll, we'll connect. And uh, so God bless, until then, God bless you. God bless my friend Alan and uh, be strong and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll reconnect. We'll circle back. God bless you. Shalom. American 11, are you trying to call? Nobody moves. Everything will be okay. If you try to make any move, you'll danger yourself and the airplane. Is there an ancient mystery that lies behind everything? From 9-11 to the plague of COVID-19 to the forces that are now transforming American culture and world civilization. Are the shakings that have come upon America and the world a warning, a wake-up call of something yet to come and that leads to calamity?
You cannot be silent. You know what's coming. How amazing is that to have Brother Jonathan Kahn share that exclusively for our Encounter Today audience. Listen, I want you to check out the link in the description of this video. I want you to get your family, get your church involved. Let's pack out the movie theater. Let's let Hollywood and the world know that we want more than the filth that they've been putting out. We want wholesome, family, biblical material being presented in our movie theaters. Let's be a part of its, this great success. And let's get our unsaved loved ones, our backslidden friends, Let's get them there in the movie theater because I promise you the anointing of God is on this and they're going to give their lives to Jesus Christ or recommit their life to the Lord. This is a unique opportunity. We must rally together now and make sure this message gets heralded from the rooftops. Harbingers of things to come and I can't thank Jonathan Kahn enough for sharing that with us and for sacrificing to make this possible. Do me a favor. Share this video. Like comment, engage. Let's get this in front of as many people as possible and let's let the message be heard. I believe that we're gonna discover the harbingers of what has been and they're gonna to communicate to us what's coming in the future. Let's be heralds of this great end time message together.